A decomposed body of a man was found along a beach on Palisaders Road in Kingston this morning. The discovery was made around 8 o'clock by a passerby. The corpse is in an advanced state of decomposition. Investigators have cordoned off the scene and is presently chroming the area for clues. This and more coming up. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So happy Sabbath to those who traverse into church in the morning. Yeah. You don't know on the spot news media as loyal viewers and subscribers and also members of the diaspora needs your prayers so please remember us when you go down upon your knee in the morning yeah. and for those who just traverse in the streets regularly you don't know you are going to the market district you go pick up your onion skelly and thyme a little pepper you don't know the official soup they are sat there for us jamaicans you don't know say tomorrow too is also the official red rice and roaster day so we have to get all our little goodies to make sure say the pot well bebel down a certain type of way yeah man may i tell you so in the morning my peeps we have our main story that we are going to talk about. The main story will be based on a mother that has lost a child, which is definitely common right now in Jamaica because at the rate where the man them are slap with the people them left, right, and center, man, woman, pitney, anybody at all, boy, it has become a sad reality for many mothers. And this mother is definitely one of such. But before me get into the main story, yesterday morning I did St. James Most Wanted, but I paid particular attention to four and definitely elaborated on those person that the police wanted. Now there was another six that was presented, but no picture, no great information. So my inbox, my email was Flooded by a person saying, no on the spot news media. You can't do that. You can't have 10 wanted men were posted and you're going to give us pound four. You need to do some more groundwork and bring us the pictures so we can get ourselves familiarized with the faces of the others. Yeah, man, an outstanding six now on the spot news media. You need to do better than that. We know, say, you can do better than that. So, of course, I feel a little type of way, so I just decide to say, yeah, hear me? Let me go put in some work and bring forth that to you, the people. So, without further ado, on the spot news media has brought it to you. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you, the six remaining faces from St. James' top ten most wanted. So, on your screen is Kenroy Roach, otherwise known as Tika, age 31, come from a place to them called Hampton District over there in St. James. This brother here wanted for a loss of life and some knockings and clappings. Him slap with a little brother with them call Jermaine Brown some time ago in March of 2021. So he's wanted in connection with that knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of Jermaine Brown. Now, the next man on your screen is known as Romaine Thorpe, otherwise called Dutchman on the street. Also wanted for your knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of a man with them called Rohan McCarthy, otherwise known as Ratty in the street. Theme Dirt end up going in a 2020. Furthermore, a one of the first loss of life in a 2020 were going. Yeah, man, may I tell you, him deal with the thing out of Lilliput de so in a St. James, same way. So he's wanted in connection with that loss of life. The next man on your screen is known as Oran Dunn, otherwise called Mike in the streets. He's from Paradise Crescent in Paradise, Norwood. Of course, I don't know, so that I know, Mobile, same way. He's wanted in connection with a double loss of life, a brother with them called 
Okan Johnson and Patmore Johnson. All of that go on from way back in July 2017. But the police still want him for that loss of life. So of course, this picture is an older version of him. Him grew up, you don't know, say him no must look the same way. But for those who know him, definitely know him. So get in contact with the police and give them the necessary information. Or as always, you don't know, link on the Spot News Media or any like-minded blogger. Yeah, man. So the next man on your screen is known as Shaquille Nathaniel Brown. He's off William Street in Montego Bay, St. James. Shaquille is wanted in connection with the knockings and clappings. We're going on William Street back in 2019, March. Here, yeah, man, him slap with a brother with him called Romario Chin, otherwise known as Bigger. Who remember the knockings and clappings there? Here, yeah, man, it's the same one we are talking about. So the next man on the screen is known as Shane Morgan, otherwise known on the streets as OK. Now, OK is wanted for your knockings and clappings. We're going around a Portobello Meadows Deso. Yeah, man, a brother with them call Leonardo Anthony Martin, otherwise known as Lenny. Had a brother here slap with Lenny in the streets from back in them time there. So he's still on the St. James most wanted. Now, last but definitely not the least is yours truly on your screen right now. This brother here is known as Joshua Nekoi Anderson otherwise known as Josh in the street. A big man in the streets too is not a young boy because he's presently about 41, 42 years of age. Now, who remember a knockings and clappings were going out of Bogue Main Road Deso at a restaurant with them call Jam Can Restaurant and Bar and Car Wash? When you remember the female with them call Christine Pearl and Gabriel Johnson Vaughan. Yeah, man, had a brother here. Dirt them two there. And this incident here go on some time ago. You know, it was a few years ago. Probably sometime in about 2016, 2017. And he has eluded the police ever since. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of these wanted men. Yeah, man, please link up the squad of them and make the squad of them know the whereabouts of them all criminal elements here. We have to weed them out our communities so the communities can return to some level of peace and tranquility where we now have to sleep under the bed but actually sleep on the bed simply because we work with the squad of them and get the old knackis and clappies them off the street. Now we are going to get into this morning's main story. The story of a family that has lost another loved one, courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them. Poor I may tell you, each and every day, these type of stories just keep coming up. Every day, at the same story, different family, different name. That is the only part of it that has changed. Now on your screen is Delroy Fraser. In his happier days, glory days, so to speak. Whilst he must sit down, I take some picture here and there. But sad to say that Delroy Fraser is no longer amongst the land of the living. Now Delroy Fraser is affectionately called by family and friends as Papa in the streets. He live over there in the St. Catherine South Police Division. A few days ago, Delroy got a phone call from friends. Friend them come pick him up. And it is said that he visited Lionel Town area, Rocky Point, Portland Cottage, Salt River, all of those general areas. But for a few days, he has not been heard from or seen by any family member. They tried to call him several times, but to no avail. So of course, the police launched a manhunt in search of the missing man. The police stated in a report that they got pictures and video footage of the missing man lying underground, lifeless, no longer amongst the land of the living. Several attempts has been made to find the body of Delroy Fraser, but the police keep coming up empty-handed. Whenever they heard or hear of a body somewhere and went to check, it was the body of someone different. But still, 
they are searching for the body of Delroy Fraser. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of the body of Delroy Fraser, please contact the Clarendon Police or the St. Catherine South Police so they can locate this body and also that the family members of Delroy Fraser get some sort of closure. It is not known why Delroy Fraser went to those areas, what sort of business him get himself involved in, and why the friends or the so-called friends would have had him taken out in such a brutal manner. Nothing is really known as yet. So on the spot news media and also the police is seeking the public's assistance in locating the body of Delroy Fraser. Now the last thing that me I got to talk about in the morning here is definitely of great concern to us as Jamaicans where the court is handing down some sentences to some man who are charged with some wicked and brutal crime. Simply because them say, yes, your Anna, me do it. And then, right after that, them basically get a tap on them shoulder for take somebody's life in such a wicked and brutal way. Now, a man confessing to the loss of life of a businessman in a plea deal gets 17 years. What is 17 years in comparison to a person's life? Now a man who struck a deal and pleaded guilty to taking the life of a payless car mart operator who was known as Robert Mendez back in 2014 has been sentenced to 17 years in prison. But John Jarrett will be eligible for parole when he serves 15 years. Now Jarrett was charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition and the loss of life and also attempting larceny arising from the loss of life that took place on April 1st, 2014 in St. Andrew. He basically confessed to the gun and also to the loss of life allegations when he appeared before the Home Circuit Court on Wednesday. Based on a plea deal between the prosecution and the defense, Justice Venita Graham Allen then sentenced him to 15 years in prison for the gun charge and 17 years for the murder, according to a statement issued yesterday afternoon by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The prosecution offered a no evidence against Jarrett for the offense of attempt larceny from the person as a condition of his plea agreement. Jarrett was not the actual Nakis and Clappis in the incident, but he was implicated because of his participation. So back in 2020, the triggerman Bertram Heavy D. Jenkins also pleaded guilty to the loss of life of 41-year-old Mendez, who is the car mart operator and owner that is along Maxfield Avenue in Kingston. Now, Bertram Heavy D. Jenkins was sentenced to 27 years and 7 months and he won't be eligible for parole until after 15 years behind bars. So basically then, my peeps, the accused and also the co-accused will be serving a maximum of 15 years behind bars. Boy, may I tell you, 15 years for the loss of life of an innocent man doing his business along Maxwell Avenue, being the owner and operator of a thriving car mart. The man them roll up in his office and bebel him down, may I tell you. Man pop out a strap from out of him, laptop bag, and just name the man food, a lone can to the man head, and all them are going to get are 15 years. Simple, just like that. A man life gone. A family is without a breadwinner, right there, so. And all the old dirty kind of boy them have to do are just go a court and go plea guilty. There's a lot of amendments that need to be made to our laws so we can send a strong signal to these would-be criminals to not enter into a life of criminality.
but our present laws are very accommodating and very much inviting. We are talking about trampling on the rights of the constitution and the rights of our citizens. Well, listen to me. Whose rights would we be trampling on? We would be trampling on the rights of criminals. And if you're a criminal and you're caught and convicted, hell yeah, trample upon your rights all over, left, right, and center. A smuddy life you take. So what is smuddy trample upon your rights? Come on, politicians. Come on, people. Come on, judges and lawyers. We are defending this trample upon rights type of something. Who no need for do better. Yeah, man, me are telling you. Who no need for do better for the Jamaican people. What about the rights of the innocent? That is the question. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.